beautiful Bahamas, Minnie Madoff's rotting in the dirtiest jail cell you can imagine. Minnie's sleeping on the floor with feces. Is it his feces? We don't know. Rodents, cockroaches infested in the walls. You thought he shook hard when he was sitting across from Chuck Todd. And now he's best friends with Big Mike. Crypto Fetterman, who went from living the high life in luxury polyamorous penthouses, is saying he's too vegan to live like this. His white privileged professor parents called the warden to inform them that their son has dietary restrictions. Let's just say Minnie's not making a lot of friends there. Minnie's demanding special treatment, and can you blame him? He's had a free pass his whole career. He stole three billion bucks, and the New York Times gave him a standing O. So Minnie thought this would just be like sleepaway camp, you know, after spending 40 million on the Democrats' red wave insurance. And it turns out there was a lot more where that came from. Minnie's executives pumped another 30 mil into the midterms, totaling 70 million into the Democrats' war chest. But the media keeps saying, oh, Minnie gave the Republicans too. But like always, the media is misleading you. Just look for yourself. This is where all of Minnie's stolen money went to. Blue bars are for the Democrats. Red bars are for Republicans. Now, I don't know about you, but this looks like a blue wave to me. Democrats are now trying to whitewash their names from the story. Now they're saying, you know what? We gave Minnie's money to charities. Which charities? The Clinton Foundation? The ones your friends run? Left-wing charities? One Democrat congresswoman gave Minnie's dirty money to another Democrat in Congress. I mean, what else? Are you going to give it to the Pauly P Foundation? Talk about money laundering. How about giving the money back to the people who saw their life savings get wiped out? I mean, or how about me? I took a bet with Geraldo on the five that there'd be a red wave in the Senate, and because of Minnie's money, I had to cut Geraldo a check for it. Geraldo, I bet yes, you about yes. the red wave in the Senate. You I did. said the Republicans were going to win the Senate. I lost. The red piddle. <laughs> it's because he bought the Senate, Minnie Madoff, so, but I'm not going to squirrel out. Here's my checkbook. Okay. Now, if I cut you this check, do not hold it up in front of the camera because my account number's on here. Uh, okay. All right? It's $1,000. And he actually did hold up the check. Uh, so, you know, there you go, Geraldo. I have to buy a lot of presents for Jesse Jr., and I want that money back. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.